Nation. He was a lawmaker, World War II veteran, and a father. Tonight, friends and family of Ben Giaquinta are remembering a man who had a big impact here in Northeast Indiana. Giaquinta passed away yesterday morning at the age of 87, and his six children were there. News Channel 15's Janice Allen is here now with details. And Janice, you talked to two of his sons today about his life. Yeah, I did. Well, Mark and Phil Giaquinta have both made names for themselves in Fort Wayne, but they credit their father, Ben, for that. He filled lots of roles over the years, but to them, the greatest position he held was dad. Former lawmaker Ben Giaquina fought to represent Fort Wayne for 14 years, but Sunday he lost the fight of his life. After battling heart problems for years, he passed away, surrounded by his six children. It's always sort of a surprise, and, and you never want to see things uh, like this happen. The seven-term lawmaker fought in World War II, where he earned a Bronze Star for his service. It wasn't until his 60s that he began to eye a position in politics. His son Mark was serving on Fort Wayne City Council at the time. And I said, gee, Dad, rather than have me appoint you to something, why not run for something? Giaquina took that advice and landed a spot on the Wayne Township Advisory Board. Then at the age of 70, he became the state representative for the 80th District. It's a seat his son Phil later won. He thought that would be kind of neat. That was his own personal legacy was for me to continue uh, with what he, he did. Giaquina's legacy is much more far-reaching than that, though. Known to fight for the little guy, he worked for funding to improve the lives of people in Fort Wayne. He helped uh, agencies in Fort Wayne ranging from um, ARC to uh, the cancer services folks to Crossroads. Uh, he really worked very hard for the people of Fort Wayne and loved doing it, loved every day of it. And services for Ben Giaquena have been set for this weekend. Visitation is from 1 to 9 Friday at the Clain Fall and Milton Funeral Home on Winchester Road. The funeral is at 10 a.m. Saturday at St. John the Baptist Catholic Church on Fairfield Avenue. Calling is an hour before that. In lieu of flowers, the family is asking for donations to Parkview Hospice, Cancer Services of Northeast Indiana, and the Fort Wayne Community Schools Scholarship Fund.